Sometimes I prune the creeping Charlie. I cut off the small piece and place it in a glass decanter with water. I pinch it first. It reacts as if goosed. Some weeks later, the decanter water turns a greenish hue. Vague clouds of green meander about aimlessly, gathering momentum. The Charlie forages with a newly acquired white Chinaman's whisker, says goodbye, and emigrates to dirt. The green scum sloshes angrily a while and then subsides. I lose interest and pay attention elsewhere. It's all assumed to be as it is, as it was, as it always will be. Appalling, isn't it? I grow complacent. Will I die not having known the rapture of the deep? I can't swim too well in all this algae. On muggy days, I look up and see a timber wolf sitting quietly on my doorstep, eyeing me discreetly. When mother was about to die, she saw the Willis in white tutu, like a Giselle. She was afraid of spooks. I'm not afraid of wolves. The decanter sits on the sill, filling with slugs and water moccasins. I dreamt it was a Trojan fish filled with piranhas. One day, I pick up my objects and find them all brittle and light, desiccated and eviscerated, all empty pods. Whatever happened, time sends me messages in envelopes but forgot to insert the note. 